How to Create a Recurring Invoice in PayPal 2022. So originally, I was going to title this How to Create a Reoccurring Invoice, but it turns out that recurring and reoccurring are actually different. Recurring, which is what you'll see PayPal has titled it, means that it happens over and over again, pretty much at the same time, regular intervals. Reoccurring means that it's happening again, but not always repeatedly. So that was a new fun fact when preparing for this video. But anyways, hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino. I'm from Esatino Media, and on this channel, I show you how to create profitable content. So let me show you how to create the reoccurring invoices in PayPal. So once you are logged in, you want to go over to the invoicing tab. If you don't see it here, if you don't see it in your quick links, you might see it under this tab right here, pay and get paid under invoicing, create and manage invoices. So I'm going to click it from here. Once in the invoicing tab, you want to go over to recurring series. So I'm going to click that. And then from here, you want to click the button that says create recurring series. From here, it's going to ask you what date do you want to start going with this invoice? So let's pretend it's the day of this recording. And then now it's the frequency, right? So when do you want this invoice to repeat? Every month? Every day? Every week? You know, it could even be two times a month. Typically, it might be something like once a month. So let's leave it at that. And then ending. When do you want this recurring invoice to end? Never, because it's ongoing, and then you'll manually cancel it when you need to. Or if you click after, it's asking you, okay, after how many occurrences? After two times, five times, ten times? It depends on the situation. So let's just say never, click save, and you'll see this note here. It says, when you start this series, we'll send out an invoice every month until you cancel the series. So from here, you're going to put an email of who this is going to. I'm just doing a test here, and I already have the person inputted. Let's pretend like they owe me $10 every month, and you can change the currency. So it's in Canadian. We're here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. The template is like how you want this to be quantified. So do you want it in hours? quantity. We usually do quantity because we don't really charge by the hour. So let's just say YouTube video. That's a really cheap YouTube video. You write the quantity. If there's tax or not, this is just a test. A description is optional. We already set the date. You can say when is this? It's due on receipt or no due date. I usually go leave it as due on receipt. Frequency, I already checked it to every month. From here, you can add a message to the customer. I always thank the customer in this message to the customer. Thank you so much, Arid. That's my business partner. And if you click the more options tab, you can add attachments or a memo to yourself. I'll usually say what the invoice is about. So this was about a YouTube video. I'm invoicing for a YouTube video. You also always want to click allow tip because you'd be surprised. I just check that off and I send that off to people. And there have been many times where we have gotten extra tips from people and I never said anything. I just had that function on. You can also allow partial payment. I won't be doing that for this one because it's only $10. But let's say the amount is bigger, you know, like $1,000, $5,000. Some of our clients want to do partial payments instead of paying for the whole thing. Once it's all good, I would preview it, which is this one right here, the I. Make sure it looks all good on your end. If you want to go back to editing, click the pencil. And then from here, you can click Start Series. And this will send the invoice out to your customer, your client, and it will be according to the specifications that you put out. So in this case, this one is once a month, sending it out for $10 
once a month and it never ends until I come in here and cancel it myself. So that's it. That's how you create a recurring invoice in PayPal. Was this helpful? Please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button that you appreciated my time to create this video for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.